Well, you know, the, the tunnel incident involving the, the Arsenal players up here at Old Trafford just won't go away. It just won't go away. Mainly it has to be said because, well, I keep going on about it, but uh, this week Arsenal have once again denied anything untoward happened. Well, I'm sorry. I take no pleasure in this at all, but I have to respectfully disagree with them and prove exactly what went on by for the first time ever, revealing what we recorded that day on our CCTV cameras. is a crucial time for the uh, Celtic Football Club so I would I would ask the, the wonderful Celtic family to do what they always do in very very difficult times like this and as they uh, stick together and start singing sack the board <laughs> and now we come to lot number 77 two Scottish football medals belonging to Mr Frank McAvenny do I hear 1000 pounds 900 800 Seven, six, five hundred pounds. <laughs> we have an addition to lot number 77, as well as the two Scottish football medals. Mr. McAvenny has added his collection of uh, notebooks. <laughs> One thousand pounds, two thousand, three thousand pounds, four thousand, five thousand pounds. Ten thousand pounds, thank you. Fifteen thousand pounds. Twenty thousand pounds. Now available on DVD, simply the sleekitest, the very best of Nacho Novo's video review panel moments. The kick at Rollcastle. The back heel at McNamara. The stamp on Pearson. Plus all of Nacho's butter wooden meld and my mouth expressions, now available for the first time. Nacho Novo, simply the sleekitest. The DVD with the unexpected kick, out now. I've just spotted a man wearing a black balaclava. I can't see his face, but he's a big man. He's carrying a baseball bat. He's making threatening gestures to the Celtic support. Where? Main stand, section B, about five rows back. Next to the wee boy, waving the UVF flag. Got him! Attention all units, main stand, five rows back, section B, go there now. Arrest that wee boy carrying the UVF flag. <laughs> Who will win the Premiership? Well, you know, I, th I, think, I think it'll be a two-horse race, yeah. It'll be a two-horse race between Manchester United and Arsenal and Chelsea. <laughs> Well, you know, there is some hope for the new Scotland manager. Uh, since he signed for me, Wayne Rooney has made, made it perfectly clear that he's desperate to play for Scotland. At least, I hope that's why he's been begging me to find him a Scottish granny. <laughs> I think this season, Hearts have been an example to all of us in terms of what can be achieved. They say they're looking at plans to rotate Tynecastle 90 degrees. That gives a, a great example to Bob Malcolm. If a stadium can turn 90 degrees, then surely he can. <laughs> Neil Lennon, you are charged with threatening and abusive behaviour towards a referee. Incitement to riot, black magic, global warming, and being a Tim with ginger hair. I call the first witness. Call Charles Young. Well, your glorious worshipfulness, the full-time whistle had gone, and I was in my usual spot trackside, Hugging all the Rangers players as they came off. <laughs> then out the corner of my eye, I caught some wee ginger nyaf squaring up to the ref. And do you see the gentleman in question anywhere in this courtroom? 
Yes, brother, it was him. <laughs> crucify him! Crucify him! Quiet, Mr. Trainer. Mr. Young, you are dismissed. <laughs> Mr. Finley, do you have anything else to say? Mm, uh, nothing, Your Honor. Apart from uh, maybe this. There are two parts of Ireland. The good bit and the bad bit. <laughs> and in the good bit of Ireland, there are fine, upstanding, loyal subjects of our most glorious Britannic Majesty. And there are them. <laughs> and while all liberally minded Scottish prodies who refused to yield to the yoke of Rome would welcome the color, pageantry, and splendor of a traditional orange band with its colors, which are fine, exercising its right to walk the Queen's highway along a route that passes as many chapels as possible <laughs> on a maximum get it right upiness when it comes to surrendering our town centres to Irish pubs polluting the air of an evening with their diddly diddly dee music the response has to be no nay never now I hear you say what has any of this got to do with the case before us? Absolutely bugger all! <laughs> but in the face of matters of Timmish temerity, the fact remains that if the judicial system by which we swear is to succeed, then logic must be as scarce as a tooth in Shane McGowan's mouth. <laughs> Mr. Lennon, after hearing the evidence, I am therefore bound by no other course. You will be taken henceforth from a place from whence you came, and there you will serve a three-match ban. <laughs> the media have mercy on your soul. Next case. Gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please, we've now come to the part of the evening when you have the chance to snap up a little bit of football history. And let me tell you, we've got some fantastic items up for auction this year. Donated by the Scottish Football Hall of Fame, a selection of international caps. Donated by various members of the old firm, a selection of winners' medals. And donated by his wife, the contents of John Hartson's wardrobe. <laughs> it's been revealed that some Airdrie United supporters were spotted wearing Ku Klux Klan masks. This is a shameful embarrassment and tarnishes our image, said a spokesperson for the Ku Klux Klan. Buenas noches, amigos. Uh, this week, Champions League action brings us to here, where I am standing right now, the totally sensational Stadium of Light, home of the mighty Benfica. Let's hope they can do as a wee turn tonight, where, as is the tradition before every match, a magnificent eagle, the symbol of the club, flies around the stadium. And there it goes now, and what a glorious sight it makes as it swoops majestically over... <laughs> Did you know that thousands of men are impotent because they smoked? Probably not, because they don't like to talk about it. Every cigarette that you smoke causes fatty deposits that restrict the blood flow to the penis, and this damage is happening right now. However, not all men are affected. What's a bunch? We Rangers supporters take our responsibility as ambassadors of our great club extremely seriously. That is why me and some of my fellow Rangers fans have started a campaign to eradicate sectarianism for the Rangers support. 
in an effort to build bridges with Celtic supporters and the, the Catholic community in general. We've called the campaign Fraternity, Tolerance, Peace, or FTP for short. <laughs> I'm a short with the press. Listen, pal, at five feet seven, I'm short by everybody. Ahead of the first Old Firm match of the season, authorities installed 55 extra CCTV cameras. Ten at the Celtic end, ten at the Rangers end, and 35 trained on Artur Boric to try to catch him blessing himself. I'm Mark Cousins. Amazing. And this movie news just in. The documentary makers who produced Zidane, the movie about French footballing legend Zinedine Zidane, are to make a Scottish version of the film. In the Zidane film, they used 53 cameras to follow the French footballer over all the ground he covered during a single match. In the Scottish film, they plan to follow the Celtic midfielder Neil Lennon over all the ground he covers in a single match, although this time they'll only need the one camera. <laughs>